Hey guys, Hyperonics here. So we're just putting the the box on on top of the foundation. So yesterday we laid the sill plate down and started to get the rim board up and to put joists on it. So there's our sill plate. There's the rim board, and then you can see the eye joists in the middle there. And now we're starting to lay down the Advantech subfloor. Um, but we couldn't get all the way around because of the lumber truck didn't have the right, well, it was missing a whole bunch of things, we'll put it that way. Um, and some of the stuff we actually ended up sending back because it was so waterlogged. So, yeah, I guess if there's one piece of advice I could give anybody who's building a house, it's to plan to do most things um, twice, because the first time there's going to be some sort of a hiccup, um, and that, go that goes for any of the stuff you're doing. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's turning out all right. It's pretty cold out now. Uh, I just got over to the site a little while ago and got to start ramping up to do more stuff. Just want to give you a walk around of inside of the basement. So these are the superior walls. You can see there's a lot of steel reinforcement here. This is our beam pocket. So we've actually got quite a few of our eye joists in place for the floor system. Um, and I should give you some dimensions on this. So the house is actually, it's 28 feet wide by 40 feet long. And there's approximately a 9 by 9 to 10 by 10 cutout where the porch is over there. Um, now we're not completely done down here yet um, because these columns are not fully bearing yet. And obviously there's nothing, there's no... Uh, <laughs> fasteners to the uh, to the LVL there, the main lamb beam. Um, but we got actually part of the subfloor on too, you can see there. Uh, it comes over here and stops. So we have this scaffold here that's just kind of holding up part of the weight of the beam right now. Uh, although most of it's on these posts at this point, but you can see like we're off center a little bit here. So we need to fix that before we actually get it fully bearing on that. Um, and we probably won't do that until after we get the full floor system done and make any, you know, fine adjustments that we need to do. But, yeah, these are the uh, superior walls. Basically, you got, you got four inches of um, concrete and foam that sit here. And this is where your, found, your slab is actually going to get poured up against. And they just come right up to the edge of this foam, and that's it. And we put um, moisture barrier down underneath it. And... This is all insulation, foam insulation. This is all foam insulation. These are um, sort of superficial steel studs that you can affix drywall and stuff to. Uh, and then you have your wire chases that are in here as well. So it's a pretty neat system. And they actually put in all these windows, including that egress window over there, for us. There's three, and there's the fourth one. So yeah, now let me take you outside and uh, look at the subfloor a little bit. All right, so we're out on top of the subfloor now, or what we have of it so far, which is quite a bit. Probably like, what, 80% done? We're using Advantech, and we got quite a few of the nails in, but we probably still gotta go back and, and do more in after we get everything secured down. Uh, these are some LVLs that'll eventually go out in the floor system over there. Um, to provide support for one of the load-bearing thermosteel walls, which is what the wall panels will be when they get here. Not a whole lot to see here. It's basically just an open floor, but it's nice and, you know, nice and solid. Doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Could use probably a little insulation in the bottom for, like, noise deadening or something, but in time. And you can see this, uh, this um, three-wide LVL beam here actually doesn't go all the way to the end. We're actually going to have to trim that back. Um, that actually terminates like pretty much on top of that post over there. And then there's another one that runs perpendicular to it that goes that way. And then another one that runs the other way to sort of keep everything all locked up and good. So that's all I have for you for now. Until next time, thank you for watching. See ya!